take. I would like to talk about the power of fasting and prayer. And unbelievable but true, but in 1863, Abraham Lincoln, he signed a proclamation uh, requesting a day of national humiliation, fasting and prayer, abstaining from secular pursuits and by acts of devotion and of public worship. So I will read out what he uh, said in this proclamation. And I think this is exactly what we need today. And this was in 1863. I do therefore ordain an annual fast observed in this commonwealth, recognizing the supreme authority and just government of the Almighty God, to own our dependence upon the overruling power of God, to confess our sins and transgressions in humble sorrow, yet with assured hope that genuine repentance will lead to mercy and pardon, and to recognize the sublime truth announced in the Holy Scriptures and proven by all history, that those nations only are blessed whose God is the Lord. We have been preserved these many years in peace and prosperity, we have grown in numbers, wealth and power as no other nation has ever grown. But we have forgotten God. We have vainly imagined in the deceitfulness of our hearts that all these blessings were produced by some superior wisdom and virtue of our own, too proud to pray to the God that made us. Therefore, concurring in the views of the Senate, I do by this proclamation designate and set apart Thursday the 30th of April 1863 as a day of national humiliation, fasting and prayer. This being done in sincerity and truth, let us then rest humbly in the hope, authorized by the divine teachings, that the united cry of the nation will be heard high and answered with blessings, no less than the pardon of our national sins and restoration of our now divided and suffering country to its former happy and unity and peace. In witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and caused the seal of the United States to be affixed by the President Abraham Lincoln, Massachusetts. I thought this is so important to underline the importance of fasting and prayer and a national day that we all do this together and that we devote our energies to our Father, who is the only one who can solve, you know, the Satanism that we live in today. And um, I thought it was so beautiful. I thought I have to read this out and remind you all that this was in 1863 and we need it again today. Okay, wish you all a nice day.